I was born in Cleveland, which is a big industrial city that's now what's called the Rust Belt of America. It's a very decayed population has left and so on, but it was a very powerful city when I was a kid. And um, my father was a lawyer, and my mother um, had been a psychiatric social worker, but she had great ambitions to write, and later she became a, a pretty well-known screenwriter. But in the 1940s, my parents collaborated on some uh, novels, mystery novels. And uh, one of them, the first one was made into a movie. And then I think in the uh, late 1940s, they edited a book called Cleveland Murders. And they were doing, the Doubleday was doing um, books on all the big cities, Detroit murders, Chicago murders, and they would find a local writer and that writer would get uh, journalists to write up famous murders that had taken place in that city, real murders. So I was taken to the, um, by my grandmother to the press conference, the, the launch of Cleveland Murders. And there was this long table and all the different uh, writers were there and my parents were sitting opposite each other. And on the table was a gun, an ax, um, a bottle of poison, <laughs> a dagger, a skull, and all this, uh, these murder weapons. And everyone was drinking and laughing and having a great time. And I said, who are those people with ma mom and dad? And my grandma said, they're the writers. So <laughs> some connection was made. You have a lot of fun and you write about murder.